What is the best current shotgun in Fortnite? I think a lot of people have a certain shotgun in mind when they hear this question. Both the addition of the double barrel shotgun as well as the recent pump changes, I figured it was time to go over the current state of all four shotguns again and address the weaknesses and strong points of each one. Be aware that the information gone over in this video is subject to change, so just know that if you are watching this on any day besides the day that I posted it, at any point Epic could decide to switch things around. So if things are switched around, I'll definitely make videos on them, but just be aware that at any point some of this info could change. To start off this video, just like I do for every single video, I'm going to go over the facts first, and then at the end, I'm going to take those facts and I'm going to give you guys my opinion. For this comparison, I'm only going to refer to the highest rarity type of each shotgun so that we can keep this pretty simple. Know that the only differences between the rarities of a shotgun are its spread size and reload speed. So the lower the rarity, the worse the reload speed and the spread are going to be. So let's start by comparing the maximum potential damage for all four shotguns. The gold double barrels body shot damage is 150 with a headshot multiplier of 1.25 times, the maximum headshot damage potential is 187.5. The blue tactical shotgun has a maximum body shot potential of 74 damage, with a headshot multiplier of 2 times, making the maximum headshot damage 148. The blue pump shotgun has a maximum body shot damage of 85. The pump also has a 2 times headshot multiplier as well, so its maximum headshot damage is 170. Finally, we have the Gold Heavy Shotgun with a maximum body shot damage of 77. This shotgun actually has the highest headshot damage in Fortnite at 2.5 times and can do up to 192.5 headshot damage. When going over these numbers, I constantly said maximum potential damage because as you know if you've played this game for any amount of time, shotguns do not always do the highest damage possible, and that's because of how shotguns work. Shotguns in Fortnite, as well as in real life, fire a shell with pellets inside. In Fortnite, there are 10 pellets inside of that one shell. So every time you pull the trigger, there are 10 pellets spreading out towards your target. That's why sometimes you'll see that beautiful 7 damage number with your shotgun because only 1 or 2 pellets are actually landing on your opponent. All 4 shotguns in Fortnite have different spread sizes, meaning some are more likely to hit all 10 pellets than others. On screen now is a comparison between the spread of all four shotguns. From left to right we have the double barrel shotgun, the tactile shotgun, the pump shotgun, and the heavy shotgun. Remember that these are the highest rarities of each type, but if you go to lower rarities, the spread on them is going to be worse. So the larger the box is, the more spread out your pellets are going to be, resulting in a lower chance of you being able to do the maximum potential damage. So the double barrel shotgun is going to need to be inches away from your opponent in order for it to land all of its pellets, whereas something like the heavy shotgun has the advantage of keeping meters of distance and still being able to land the majority of its pellets. The next thing we need to look at for this comparison is how fast every shotgun fires, as well as their magazine size. So the double barrel shotgun is able to fire every 53 hundredths of a second, but has a magazine size of only two. The tactical shotgun is able to fire every 67 hundredths of a second and has a magazine size of eight. The heavy shotgun is able to fire once per second and has a magazine size of 7. And the pump shotgun has the slowest fire rate at 1.43 seconds and has a magazine size of 5. Remember that these fire rates are the cooldowns after you fire your first shot. So for instance, it would take you 53 hundredths of a second to fire 2 shots out of your double barrel shotgun because the first shot is instant and then you have a cooldown of 53 hundredths of a second before you can fire the second shot. The final piece of information that we need to look at for these four weapons is the draw speed of each weapon. I usually say these numbers in terms of frames because that is the more accurate way to measure this, but I think it's confusing for some people, so I'm simply going to put it in seconds even though it's a little bit less accurate. So the double barrel has the fastest draw speed at approximately 35 hundredths of a second, the pump and heavy shotgun are approximately the same at 45 hundredths of a second, and the tactical shotgun is now the slowest at half of a second. Alright, I threw a bunch of information at you, so now let's put it all together and break down the pros and cons for each shotgun. For me, and for most people, I would say that the heavy shotgun is the best shotgun in the game. It has the second fastest draw speed of all four shotguns, 
and has the most range and the most potential damage. So I think it's pretty clear why the heavy shotgun is considered the best shotgun in Fortnite, but what about the pump shotgun and the tactical shotgun? I think this is the hottest debate at the moment in terms of which one is better. The tactical shotgun fires more than two times faster than the pump shotgun. The tactical shotgun can shoot three shots before the pump shotgun is even able to fire its second shot. In terms of bullet spread, however, the pump shotgun is better, meaning that it has more range. It also has much higher potential damage. Higher potential damage as well as a more confined spread also means a way higher chance of you doing significantly more damage. Before the pump shotgun got the draw speed change, I used to be a tactical shotgun person. The pump's draw speed was just too slow for my aggressive playstyle. I'm someone who likes to build a lot and the pump shotgun just could not keep up with the pace that I was trying to keep. With the pump getting a major draw speed buff and now being faster than the tactical shotgun, I would now choose the pump shotgun over the tactical shotgun. Higher damage, better range, and a faster draw speed are the three main things I look for the most. The only downside for the pump is having a slower fire rate than the tactical shotgun, which is very easily countered by building. Take a shot, build, stay behind cover until your shotgun has cooled down, then shoot and repeat. So if you're going up against someone who is using a tactical shotgun and you're using a pump shotgun, you can easily take away that one advantage of having a faster fire rate by keeping proper spacing and outbuilding them. So currently I have the heavy shotgun ranked number one, the pump shotgun ranked number two, and the tactical shotgun ranked number three. So does that mean that the double barrel shotgun is the worst and ranked number four? If you watched my double barrel shotgun breakdown video, and if you haven't, I suggest watching it, I'll put a link in the description, then you'll know that I don't really consider the double barrel to be the typical shotgun. It's so unique and requires such a different playstyle that it honestly is in a category of its own. The spread on the double barrel shotgun is absolutely massive, getting right up in somebody's face and holding completely still will make the spread just barely small enough to fit their head. And remember that strafing or jumping will increase the spread on any shotgun. So realistically, very rarely are you ever going to hit all of your pellets on this shotgun, even when right in the face of your opponent, especially if you are aiming for their head. You're much better off aiming for the body of your opponent with the double barrel, where there is more mass and where you're more likely to land a majority of your pellets. Now just because you have to be directly in someone's face to use this weapon, does that make it terrible? Absolutely not. With a body shot damage of 150 for the gold variant, you can do a devastating amount of damage with just one shot, even if all of your pellets don't land. The fact that the double barrel has the fastest draw speed of all shotguns, as well as the fastest fire rate, makes it an absolute force to be reckoned with in the blink of an eye. Of course, after firing those first two shots, you're going to be stuck with a very lengthy reload speed, but if used properly, those two shots are enough to take out your opponent and give yourself time to recover and reload. So is the double barrel shotgun the worst shotgun? Possibly. Is it the best shotgun? Possibly. It all depends on your playstyle as well as the skill of your opponents. If any of you watched the conclusion to the summer skirmish event this weekend, you have seen many pro players using the double barrel shotgun especially towards the end of the game. By the end of the game, there were so many good players packed into such a small area that almost every engagement involved two people being right next to each other. And of course, that is where the double barrel shines. How often are you going to be in a lobby like that? For 99.99% .99 of us, never. That's why I ranked the heavy shotgun as number one, because in public matches where the skill level of each player varies, you're going to be more effective with a ranged weapon. So with the heavy shotgun, you can keep space a lot more efficiently and take advantage of its range and high damage. But if you're a pro Fortnite player in the finals of a tournament worth $1.5 million, you may decide to ditch that heavy shotgun and go for a double barrel shotgun instead. So for my intents and purposes, I do rank the double barrel shotgun as number four because I don't personally have a really high use for it. But for a lot of people, they could rank that as number one because there is a really, really high potential with that weapon. Anyway, that is all that I have for this video. I hope that it was informative. If you made it all the way to this point in the video, thank you so much. It truly means a lot to me. 
If you are new here and enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming videos, and I will catch you in my next one.